everybody to another episode of our 2k22 universe mode i am smithy geek and you're welcome back to the show the channel the episode we're getting ready to head to payback here in B B biloxi below below Bilo minnesota i believe i could be wrong i apologize but nevertheless let's see what the card has for us today today we're going to uh, figure out the number of contenders for the tag team championships as uh Legato del fantasma Faces against Bulletproof as uh, Miz and Monsoor await their next challengers for the Tag Team Championships. And then, of course, the next matchup, Angelo Dawkins goes one-on-one -on -one with the Swiss Superman Cesaro. We got some women's action on the docket as Lacey Evans goes one-on-one -on -one with Naomi. And then we have... We have R-Truth go one-on-one -on -one with the destroyer known as Karrion Cross. We have a featured matchup here. The Harlem Gold, Booker T and uh, Aria Devaro going against Dolph Ziggler and Seth Rollins. This uh, stemming from last week. We'll get to that later. And then we have Carmella going one on one with the women's champion in Candice LeRae. And then our main event is another trial for our champion, Roman Reigns. Has another trial as he goes against he goes against Macho Man Randy Savage and Kofi Kingston again. Shane McMahon playing his cards backstage, and Roman Reigns has to go against some not so friendly competitors. But we'll see because Roman Reigns has been tearing it up recently in these trials. So we'll see how it goes. So let's get started here as we try to figure out the next number more contenders. Will be Legato del Fantasma. Will be Bulletproof. This will be a fantastic matchup. Who will face Miz and Monsoor at payback? It will be, ooh, Legato, Legato del Fantasma will get the victory as we move on to Angelo Dawkins one-on-one -on -one with Cesaro. And Cesaro gets the victory here tonight. And Angelo Dawkins not up to par. Then we have Lacey Evans going one-on-one -on -one with Naomi. And Naomi gets the victory. So another notch in her cap, another W in her way. And then R-Truth goes one-on-one -on -one with Karrion Cross, And Karrion Cross gets the victory. And here we go with the tag team matchup. Can you dig it, sucker? So this match right here is certainly, certainly interesting. Booker T and Ari Davari, Harlem Gold coming down to the ring. The following contest is a Tag Team Extreme Rules match and at a combined weight of 441 pounds, Aria Davari and Booker T. So a few weeks back, Booker T actually defeated Seth, no sorry, Seth Rollins defeated Booker T and then after the match, Seth Rollins would attack Booker T with a chair just Venting out his frustrations, don't get me wrong, but Booker T, he's not going to take that lying down. So we asked for this matchup here tonight. Harlem Gold going against Seth Rollins and a part of his choosing, his partner being Dolph Ziggler. And, uh, you know, you know, Seth Rollins, I mean, he's he's happy to get another match under his belt. But tag team matches, I mean, I would say are, are better suited for the Harlem Gold, but they are 0-2. and two. So a lot of riding in this match. And of course, this match is extreme rules because after the match last week, Seth Rollins attacked Booker T with a chair. So Booker T asked for an extreme rules match here tonight and he's going to get it. Why wouldn't you book this match? A lot of heat around it and Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins in this match. Dolph Ziggler. A lot of, hit, a lot of big hitters here. And man, it's going to be a hard hitting match as we see the visionary known as Seth Rick and Rollins coming down to the ring. And their opponents first from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth 
Rollins! So Seth Rollins obviously looking for a win here tonight. But the thing is, if he does get a win here tonight, it'll only go in his tag team book. I mean, his, his record for singles is still one and two. So, I mean, that'll not change after tonight if he does get a win. And obviously, he has to also worry about Dolph Ziggler pulling his weight. And we'll see how that goes here. I mean, these two guys, I mean, not for the faint of heart. I mean, they have never teamed together, I don't think. So, who knows if they're going to gel. I mean, the, the good thing about that is that it's Extreme Rules match. So, it's going to be a Tornado Rules here tonight. So, I mean, you don't have to worry about tags and whatnot. But you do have to worry about the other guy getting pinned and making you lose. So, here we go. Here is Seth Rollins' partner. That man is Dolph Ziggler. From Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. And Dolph Ziggler, obviously, he is uh, he's not in the uh, good books here as well. He's a uh, he has a losing record. So, I mean, the the good thing about this is that if you know the winning team gets momentum, whether it be Harlem Gold, who is zero and two in tag team matches, they'll get a finally they'll finally get a win in their book. But also, it means momentum if Dolph Ziggler and Seth Rollins get the victory. Seth Rollins coming off a victory last week. So, I mean, if Seth Rollins can win here tonight, that'll be two in a row. And knowing Seth Rollins, that's going to be a lot. And he can propel himself to a title match very, very quickly. But let's get started. Extreme Rules matchup. We'll see how this goes. This is going to be a complete chaos here. There's a German suplex by Rollins. And... I mean, the one thing that Booker T has to worry about is, of course, Arya Davari. Arya, not, certainly not a huge hitter like Seth Rollins or Dolph Ziggler or even Booker T. The former, I think, seven-time world champion? Six-time? Seven-time? Something like that. Oh, here's Dolph Ziggler with the signature elbows. And now, look at Seth Rollins off the ropes, hitting a big knee onto Booker T. And, oh, I think that was a big knee from Davari taking uh, Ziggler down. Oof. A nice standing moonsault from Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins, again, has all the tools in the world to become a world champion. We know he, he can get it done. He is a Grand Slam champion in the grand scheme of things. So we know that Seth Rollins can become a world champion. But, I mean, in the first month and a half here, he, uh, he was not doing great. You know, he, he lost the Fatal 4-Way to get into WrestleMania Backlash for that world championship. And then he lost to Titus O'Neil. Who you know ultimately went on to uh, oh nice move there by Davari who went on to face uh, Legado del Fantasmas uh, Santos Escobar for the Intercontinental Championship which he did ultimately lose but nevertheless he got a title shot which Seth Rollins did not so oh here we go Arya Davari bringing out a ladder again Extreme Rules matchup oh and hit Seth Rollins over the pretty much a whole body shot and now Arya Davari. I mean, he's, he's pulling his weight. I'll give him that. And now, oh, super kicking down goes Rollins. Going for a cover. And these guys want to finish it quick here, too. No. What a statement it would be for Harlem Gold for their first win in the tag team division to be over former world champions in Seth Rollins and Dolph Ziggler. You know, I don't know how the SmackDown brass would see, like, a, a tag team going over two singles and whether it be a certain... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my God. The the teardrop suplex on Arya Davari onto the table. And now uh, Ziggler has him once again and lands right on the table. On the outside, Rollins working over the leg of Booker T. But nevertheless, the winners of this match here tonight... Certainly a momentum boost, however you want to see it. Whether it be either team. And now look at this. Ziggler and Rollins working over Davari. And now Booker T back inside the ring. Go for maybe a big power slam. No. Reversal into the following reverse CDT by Ziggler. Daria Davari drop kicking. Rollins outside the ring and a nice neck breaker there from Ziggler. No. Davari getting more furniture. He has a table now. Oh, and again, Rollins. Oh, my God, what a German suplex by Ziggler. Oh, Rollins again on the receiving end of some furniture. But there's Ari Davari getting some table to the face. 
Booker T looking for something. Does not see anything on that side. What a neck breaker by Davari. Now, ooh. Booker T wants Rollins all to himself. You know, in this in the short span of time, there's become quite a, a heated rivalry between these two. Seth Rollins obviously just venting his frustrations last week after a huge win. And then uh, took it a little too far, but... Oh, what? Oh, nice! Uh, that was like a zigzag from Arya Davari. Stealing the finisher of Ziggler, too! And no. And you can see, oh, look at Booker T. Just wielding that kendo stick, just multiple shots to the midsection. And Seth Rollins, like I was saying before, just again, fending his frustrations. But Booker T, I mean, he wants some revenge. Obviously, you want some revenge. Whoa, super kick from Ziggler, too! And no. Davari trying to... Trying to stay in this match for his partner. You know he wants the, that revenge, Booker T does. To get a win over Seth Rollins. Or just send Rollins into, you know, a, a rage. Just put him into a fit. And, of course, Ziggler. Not one to not one to let anybody down, I don't think. I think he, he wants not only this match for himself, but also for Seth Rollins. But maybe it's just for, I mean, you know, we, know, we, we all know Ziggler. He's a show-off. You know, oh, my. Oh. Going for the super kick, but Booker T gets in the way off the, the road, so he kind of runs into the, the ladder there, going for that scissors kick. And once again, the ladder is in the way. Kind of fortunate for Seth Rollins there. Double time. And now, both guys, or all four of these guys are kind of just rummaging and wrestling to see who can get the upper hand. You now Harlem Gold, he seems there in the driver's seat here is Booker T now Again, back under the ring. What's he going to get? He's got another kendo stick and over the head of Ziggler. And then these shots by Davari. Oh, there's a knee there by Ziggler. And splits Booker T open. Seth Rollins now going back inside the ring. And Ziggler, there's continuous stomps here. And just put on a chin lock as Rollins meets Davari on the outside. Going for that table once again. And then Davari going to save his partner from that chin lock. Now Davari has the kendo stick. No. And oh, another scorpion death drop. And now look at this. More, more elbows by the show off. And another shot from that table on Davari. Davari in big trouble. The Booker T, yeah, he's going to save his partner. He's going to grab that table. He's going to slide into the ring. And oh, look at this. Rollins. Says he wants Booker T, but oh, the mind game is being played by the architect, by the visionary. But Davari throws Seth Rollins back inside, but Ziggler's also there. Davari grabs the kendo stick. And look at this. What is this? Seth Rollins! Oh, a little saving grace action. And Dolph Ziggler continuing the attack on Booker T. He'll drop some elbows. Seth Rollins trying to drag Arya Davari. Going to put him on the table, looks like. And Ziggler now. Ooh, shot there by Booker T. Now, look at these chops, this combination. No, caught by Ziggler. And now Davari gets back to his feet, thanks to Rollins. And now, oh, dragon screw onto the table. Speaking of working on legs, Booker T working on Ziggler's. Oh, nice code breaker there by Davari. You see now, oh, look at this. Davari. Oh, just look at these shots. These shots by Davari and Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler can do nothing about them. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my God. Oh, Booker T with a sledgehammer. And he's just working over the body. Z Ziggler gets hit with that clothesline. But look at this. On the outside. Booker T. Oh, my God. These continuous shots. Oh, my God. Seth Rollins can do nothing about them. Just on the back of the arm of Seth Rollins getting absolutely battered, destroyed by that sledgehammer. Booker T has gone crazy. Booker T has gone mad with power. And Davari now has a chair. And oh, power bomb by Booker T and a shot to the head by Davari. Harlem Gold now on the kendo stick, but Rollins gets back to his feet, hits a sling blade on the outside. Somehow. Somehow Rollins is still standing after those shots from the sledgehammer. And another shot by Davari. Ziggler's in bad, bad way too, but it's Rollins. 
but hits both Booker T and Devori with that table. Now into the corner goes the table as Rollins to try to go after Devari, but the ref gets in the way. Wait a minute, there's that clothesline once again. Devari can do it for Booker T, no. Devari, what does he gotta do here? Look at that springboard, a back elbow, but no, misses it. Rollins goes to the outside. Does not see that Booker T has gone back on his feet. And Ziggler now back inside the ring. And Ziggler with a famous sir. And now this, Ziggler, good, uh, tune up the band, going for a little Ziggy with the kicky, and a super kick from Ziggler, three, no! Somehow, somehow Devori gets hit with a second super kick, gets out of it, going for the zigzag, no! But can't follow up as Booker T now has this chair. The thing that started all last week and right over the back of the head. And Rollins has to get out of the ring. And there's a, the Bella Buster from Ziggler. Oh, and now Ziggler all alone in that ring takes down Booker T. And now Devari back to his feet. Looking for a neck breaker. Badly timed. Now both guys working over Ziggler here. Trying to get the upper hand. Ziggler trying to fight back. You see both these guys just over the midsection, these combinations. Now this, oh, this shot's right to the back. Rollins, I think he's trying to get that kendo stick. Yes, he does. Gonna head back inside the ring. Booker T does not know he got back inside the ring. And oh my God, just breaks over the midsection. As, oh, nice suplex by Davari. Oh, maybe going for that, uh, that curb stomp. But he actually stopped and he saw that Davari was going for a pin and he broke it up as well. Now Davari, the work over the leg of Ziggler is Rollins hits a reverse DDT once again. Bukatina back to his feet. This match has been absolutely crazy. And now, oh, may do a little Valvina strats as the knees to the midsection. Now Rollins with the Russian leg sweep. And you can see Davari, oh, no. But Davari, oh, wait a minute, inside the ring. Scissors kick there from Booker T. Could this be it for Rollins? One, two, and th no. Oh my God, what does Booker T have to do? Oh, he's going for another one. Ziggler, go over a weapon. He has to look inside the ring. Booker T with a second scissors kick. One, two, three, and Harlem Gold gets the victory. And I don't even want to be in the vicinity of Seth Rollins when he wakes up as uh, he gets another loss here on SmackDown. What a extreme rules match. As we see a, a hell of a lot of moves here. And there's that second super kick. But man, what a match. And a Harlem Gold finally gets a win in the tag team division. So Harlem Gold get the victory here tonight, but if I was a betting man, and I am, that means, uh, you know, Seth Rollins is not done with Booker T. Let us move on to a non-title match here in the women's division as Carmella goes one-on-one -on -one with the champion, Candice LeRae. You can see Candice, oh, sorry, Carmella actually got a victory last week. And that was that's what led to her having this uh, non-title matchup. So let's see what she can do here as we get her to the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Staten Island, New York, Carmella. Uh, I, I, I do believe stranger things have happened in this universe mode, so we can see Carmella getting the victory here tonight. You know, kind of propelling herself to a non or to a title match. This is a sort of AEW's kind of title eliminator match, sort of, sort of speak. But you know, Candice LeRae is undefeated here on SmackDown, 
So we'll have to see what gives here tonight. Will Carmella get one more one more W under her belt? Maybe get a future title match, or will Candice LeRae stay undefeated? The Poison Pixie coming down to the ring. And there she is with title around her waist. The SmackDown World Women's Champion. And from Anaheim, California, the SmackDown Women's World Champion, Candice LeRae. As you see, as you saw on the graphic there, she is three and zero. And what a what a record it is! I mean, many people are calling, you know, kind of the match at WrestleMania Backlash a fluke win over Rio Ripley. But as you can see from her from her record, it doesn't look like it. And she'll have another opportunity here tonight to kind of denounce the haters and you know set them back as she goes. She looks to go four and zero, which would be the best record here in WWE. So let's get it started. As you hear the bell there. And Carmella going to start it off with an Irish whip into the, the the turnbuckle there. As we last week we figured out the number one contender for said women's champion uh, for Candice LeRae, and that is Shayna Baszler getting a victory over Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley kind of on a little of a downward spiral. I thought we would see kind of a better record, kind of a better performance from Rhea Ripley here at Universe Mode. Of, of course, getting to the big dance at. WrestleMania Backlash, but then couldn't get it done against Candice LeRae, but then got into the number one contendership match last week, but then ultimately lost to Shayna Baszler, so a nice move there by Candice LeRae, nice lion salt. And say what you will about the stature of Candice LeRae, I think she's about maybe 5'2", five, 5'3", five, but I mean, she can go inside that ring. She is a uh, the current SmackDown Women's Champion, and there's nothing stopping her from showing off her skills and getting more wins here on SmackDown as she takes down Carmella to the outside. You see Carmella on the outside and Candice LeRae. Oh my God, what is she? What's she putting here? Carmella gets. Oh my God! I thought she was gonna get splashed by Candice, but gets the knees up. But who did that hurt more? I mean, of course, when you're landing on said knees from the top rope onto the floor, it's not pretty. But obviously, the knees have to get, take a little bit of a beating too. Is as, oh, right into the barricade goes the champ. And how demoralizing would it be to, to lose here tonight, but also know that you have to face Shayna Baszler in a few weeks' time at Payback. Oof! And there is Carmella working over the champ on the outside, but nice sweep of the leg. It's, I think we're up to a six count on the outside. And there's the six count right there. Is now she picks up uh, Carmella. And wait a minute. Oh, cool red right on the outside. Yoshi Tonic, whatever you want to call it, off to a seven count, and that's gonna hurt Carmella supremely. As the back just crashes on the outside, gonna roll her back inside the ring, but she gets back to her feet. Oh, not not quite. As what a shot there from the champ. And Carmella in a bad way after that, but no, she pushes off Larray. But no, oh, Larray as the champ. She is one step ahead at all times. If you can soundly defeat someone like Rhea Ripley for that championship, that's that's one thing, you know. And that's that's you know ultimately you know what kind of this kind of means. If she can defeat Rhea Ripley, who who says she's like she can't defeat Shayna Baszler? Who says she can't defeat? You know, Carmella's. No, look at this. Carmella in a bad way here. And oh my god! The, the stomp right onto the mat. And there's nothing pretty about that. Is she's gonna. Oh, look at look this! The Gargano escape! The Gargano escape from Candice LeRae! Carmella in the middle of the ring has nowhere to go. Nowhere to go here. What's she gonna do? She's gonna kind of twist her body and oh! That's a knee to the back of the head and a punch square to the forehead. And she gets out of the Gargano escape. Essentially escaping. 
And now to the outside again we go and oof, nice shot there by Carmella getting out, getting out of that is oof, now on the outside. This is a bad place to be. Another chin lock on the outside. That seems to be the move of the day. Chin lock on the outside, but no, Candice gets gets out of it, and Carmella get ahead back inside the ring. I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? How, guys, are you doing okay? Carmella wants to know. And oh my god, what a move! Holy shit! Holy mother of god! Carmella with a top rope springboard drop kick to LeRae outside, hitting it flush. That is the, that is the move of the day. If there was any kind of move. That would be the move of the day. It's going to be that one. I am flabbergasted. And now Carmella catches LeRae into the DDT. Carmella go over the cover. Nonchalant cover. But th will this be it for LeRae? No. I'm, st I'm, I'm still jaw dropped. My, my jaw is on the floor. There's a super kick there. Signature super kick from Carmella. She goes back to the cover. Now hooks the leg. A very serious cover, no. Steal a two count as LeRae gets the shoulder up. And now LeRae in bad way here. Carmella to the top, no. She wants LeRae back to her feet. And now go over, oh, a cross buddy. But look at the, look at the strength. The strength of our champion. LeRae now gonna go for another. Looks like, it looks like a sharpshooter, but she turns it. Literally turns it into grabbing the arms and then a super stomp. The little race stomp into the mat and that could be it. Carmella could be out cold. Two and no. Carmella gets the shoulder up. Good for her. She's still in this matchup. Matchup of huge implications here. Carmella with a uh, an elbow to the midsection. And there's a super kick. But not done with her just yet. And oh, we're looking for the super kick again, but Carmella, oh. Well, Lorraine, Carmella just back and forth here. Back and forth with the reversals. Now into the corner goes the champ. And now, look at this. Carmella with the Hurricane Rana from the corner. Now, not done with her just yet as she looks for a almost a basement dropkick to the to the neck area. Now look at this. Just raining down blows. Now a slap, just a disrespect from the former SmackDown women's champion. Not from a universe world, but in real life, she's a former SmackDown women's champion. A very nice elbow there. She goes for a quick cover. One, two, and oh, that was. A lot closer than I thought it would be. But you can see the, the energy from both these women are just quickly draining here. Nice combination from LeRae into a nice vertical suplex. Now LeRae going to pick up. And again into the Gargano escape. Gargano escape. What's going to happen? And oh, there it is. LeRae, just like that, is your victor. Carmella had to tap out quickly. And she is your winner. 4-0 now is Candice LeRae. And that is essentially the best record we have in our universe mode as LeRae. You know, get, get, I gotta give credit where credit is due. Carmella brought out every single move she had. There's a super kick. She did the DDT. That top rope springboard drop kick. She just, you know, kind of went out of nowhere. There's the elbow drop, but she is her victor. LeRae is your victor following the onslaught from Carmella. And LeRae is getting warmed up. Here is your winner, Candice LeRae. LeRae is getting warmed up for Shayna Baszler. Speaking of Shayna, she's running to the ring. And look at this. Going right after the champion. Shayna with these palm strikes into the arm bar and LeRae is tapping out of course after the match but uh, you know speak for itself Shayna just made the champion tap out 
And that's just going for more, more damage here. She wants to soften up the champ for payback. And oh my god, working over the limbs. Oh, now the champion gonna fight back here. Fighting back is the champ. Lorray, go over a drop kick and sends down Baszler. Baszler go over the cheap shot and just smacks away that Inzaguri. And now this. Oh, Lorray gets caught with that running, running leg kick. Obviously, you kick with the leg. I'm an idiot. But now look at that slam. And Shayna Baszler looks to be on top in this occurrence. But we'll see what payback has for these two ladies. On to the main event here on SmackDown. As we have the Macho Man, Randy Savage coming down to the ring. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Sarasota, Florida. Weighing in at 239 pounds, Macho Man Randy Savage. Randy Savage, Kofi Kingston, and Roman Reigns in a triple threat matchup to close out the show here tonight. And, you know, Shane McMahon once again, you know, kind of pulling his way backstage, getting, getting Roman Reigns in these kind of scenarios that can weaken him towards their clash at Payback. But, of course, you know, Macho Man and, and Kofi Kingston are not really buddy buddies with Shane McMahon, but how can you kind of complain with this type of matchup? You're in the main event of SmackDown, but not only that, you get an opportunity to get a win over the world champion. And the world champion doesn't even have to be in the fall. Doesn't have to be in the decision. So, I mean, this is a sort of win-win situation. But the thing is, you know, Roman Reigns is on a tear on SmackDown. He has not lost yet. So something has to give here tonight. And his opponents first from Ghana, West Africa. Weighing in at 212 pounds, Kofi Kingston! Here comes their ever jolly, ever happy Kofi Kingston. The former WWE Champion, so is Macho Man Randy Savage. They would love a chance for that World Championship that Roman Reigns holds, but, you know, of course, have the after payback. And that even depends on if they're going to win here tonight. But nevertheless, the, the date for payback is set. It is Shane McMahon versus Roman Reigns. This all started because Shane McMahon defeated Cesaro the week after uh, WrestleMania Backlash. So, and then Shane McMahon just decided to put Roman Reigns in these sort of trials and tribulations going towards uh, Smack. Uh, sorry, going towards payback. But here comes the champion, the head of the table. The Tribal Chief! And there is your world champion. He is Roman Reigns. And representing the Usos from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, the world champion, Roman Reigns! Roman Reigns has been in action for three weeks in a row now here on SmackDown, winning every single matchup. He has to be kind of kind of battered and bruised at this point. Of course, last week would have a tag team match with Bobby Lashley, but then Bobby Lashley would attack Roman Reigns after the match. And of course, Roman Reigns and Bobby Lashley, they're, they're in the same division. And Bobby Lashley just wanted to, to, to remind Roman Reigns that he's coming for that title. Doesn't matter how many days, how many weeks, how many months it takes. I think we're down for an inevitable clash. Inevitable clash between Roman Reigns and Bobby Lashley down the road. But tonight, he has to deal with two others in the singles division, and that is Kofi Kingston and Macho Man, Randy Savage. So let's get started. Triple threat matchup. Here we go. 
The bell has rung here. And I, I think the best thing, yeah, the best thing for Roman Reigns to do is just let Randy and Kofi just go at it. And they're glad to, apparently. I mean, you would think the best option is to kind of team up in the beginning stages here and try to take out the champion. And so you can, you know, kind of have a one-on-one -on -one matchup. So at least one of you guys can get a win. Not only, not only, not, not, not over the, only over the champion, but also in the singles division. I can't speak today. I apologize. But nevertheless, Roman Reigns now into the action himself. And now look at this. Oh, going for, oh, of course. Of course, it is, you know, uh, no DQ in triple threat matches and fatal four-way matches. So low blows completely legal here. Now Randy Savage gonna go after, go to go after Kofi. A little Macho King action here with some chokes right into the corner. Marmar Reigns, of course, taking his time. I don't think he's actually truly hurt. I think he's just simply taking his time. We're just super smart, trying to save as much energy as you can. But of course, the, no, no matter how you how you try, this match is going to take a toll out of you. You know, any way you kind of slice it, and now head but right to the Kofi Kingston. But Randy Savage and Roman Reigns. Can you imagine that match for the uh, for the WWE Championship? Or sorry, the World Championship? Of course, Macho Man got his one win in the singles division over the Undertaker of all people in the legendary matchup two weeks ago. Wait a minute. Oh, power bomb to the outside. And Kofi Kingston. Oh, in a bad way. And now Roman Reigns has him busted open. Well, Roman Reigns tried to, tried to, you know, kind of, kind, of, kind of keep it cool, kind of keep it easy, you know, in this sort of situation. But Randy Savage has no way, Jose. And, you know, just busted Roman Reigns straight open with that elbow. You know, Randy Savage knows what this means. There's another elbow. And there's a big boot there from the champ. And speaking of champions, I am hearing that next week we will see the Intercontinental Champion Santos Escobar in action in one of our featured matchups. So that's going to be exciting as we try to await his next number one contender. As we saw several people trying to, trying to kind of grab that prize as well. So we'll see you next week. You know, hopefully number contender and Sanders Escobar in action. As now Roman Reigns trying to work over Kofi Kingston. No. Kofi with a combination with a uppercut to follow. Now Kofi with a shot to Savage as again Roman. This time it might be actually he might be actually kind of hurt with that ooh, shot that elbow from Randy Savage cutting him open. Kofi Kingston trying to go for the boom drop there, but Randy Savage moving out of the way here. A huge, huge clothesline. And now Savage, wait a minute. Trying to, oh my God, oh, what a shot. What was that? Roman, what did he have? I mean, I could only assume it was brass knuckles. I mean, they're all legal here in this matchup, but I don't know why he had to hide it. Maybe it was just a fool, Randy Savage, but I don't know why I keep saying by his full name, but nevertheless, here we are. Is Going for reverse suplexes, Kofi Kingston. No Savage, what's he gonna go for? Oh my God, trouble in paradise. Go for a cover, one, two, no. And now Roman, Roman going for a guillotine. He missed the first one, got the second try. And Kofi, Kofi might have to tap out here. I don't know if Kofi can get out of this move. And now Kofi, showing off his strength and gets out of the guillotine. And Kofi showing off his prowess here tonight. Showing off his talent. He's going to go back on the attack of, of Savage here. And now Kofi going for a knee drop. A drop of the knee from Kofi, but Savage back to his feet. Roman perfectly content with just taunting and playing to the crowd. Of course, oh. Nice springboard drop kick, kind of reminiscent of Carmella there, but Kofi Kingston springboarding to the inside of the ring. But Kofi, you know, maybe Kofi can, Kofi can do this here. Kofi though, going for a little bit of a boom drop. 
Oh, on the midsection of Roman. You can see Savage in the background. Oh, now both guys going at it. And another triple Paris nose moves. And what a counter there by Savage. Super kick right to the face. And now Savage with another choke, this time to Roman. Kind of reminiscent of the Macho King. And now looking for the double cross, or double crown. The crowning, yes. The double axe handle. Oh, wait a minute. Roman Reigns in perfect position. Going for that elbow drop, and he got it. Kind of weird landing, but he did get it. Two, and no. Oh, I think actually Kobe brought, kind of, kind of just nudged, nudged my Macho Man, but he kind of broke it up. The referee said he broke it up, so I think, I think, oh, I think Roman was out. I think Roman was out. But nevertheless, this match rolls on here. And there's a Superman punch from Roman Reigns. Roman could be walking out the victor, and no! Kobe gets the shoulder up. Macho Man in a bad way, actually. He was, he was boozled. He was boozled and he was goozled, but he's in the corner now waiting. Roman Reigns as he's, Roman Reigns is completely content on working the arm of Kobe Kingston. You'd think you want to work on the leg for that trouble in paradise, but what do I know? Roman Reigns is the champion, so a big headbutt there. And there's another guillotine. Savage in trouble in kind of the middle of the ring. You can see just wrenching on it and oh, match. Macho Man has to tap. Roman Reigns is your victor. He is also 4-0 here in our universe mode. What a match. There's that trouble in paradise. Kobe Kingston, Macho Man were so close. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns. I think, I think Macho Man had Roman Reigns beat. I'm going to say it. Uh, that elbow off the top, I think Roman Reigns was done, but Kobe Kingston... Got in the got in nick of time, and oh, well, Roman Reigns is your victor, and he awaits. He awaits Shane McMahon at. Speak, oh, speaking of Shane McMahon, he is inside the ring now and looking for a cheap shot, but there is Roman Reigns. And he takes out the trash of Shane McMahon. Roman Reigns stands tall once again here on SmackDown. That's gonna be it for me. I'll see you on Raw.